Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Chelsea Serco. I have two children that attend this school. We actually moved to come to Clary School District. Now we're looking for a house out of this district. I'm here today to bring to your attention to an issue that is prevalent in this school and every school in the county. The lack of action being taken with bullying, not only by the administration, but by the students in this school. Bullying is not just an adolescent issue, it's also a society issue. According to pabullying.org, <coughs> we estimated that there are 160,000 children who miss school every day due to the fear of being attacked by intimidation, of being attacked or intimidation by other students. One in seven students in the grades K through 12 have either been bullied, a bully, or a victim of bullying today. 71% of students report incidents of bullying as a problem in their school. On February 4, 2012, my family experienced an unfortunate incident that could have been prevented by the school being more vigilant in the enforcement of the anti-bullying laws and policies set forth, forth by the state of Pennsylvania and the Board of Education. My child was bullied to the point where she required hospitalization for nine days. When I spoke with the administration about the bully, I was told that they were aware of this child and that their hands were tied. I was told that they had many complaints about this student, from students as well as staff about this child, but had to follow steps to discipline him. There are many children that were affected by this nuisance, as I tend to call him, but I was told that he deserved an education. That's true, but what about the hundreds of other students in this school that also deserve an education and deserve to not come to school in fear of other children. The students should know that they can confide in the administration and that they are protected from any retribution from the school or the student doing the bullying. The, victim ha the victims should have more, case, more rights in this case than the protection from protection than the bully. And in this case, he had more rights than my child or the other five known cases of bullying that this child portrayed on other students. Another parent wanted to be here tonight, but due to a death in her family, she couldn't be. Her child, too, was bullied to the point where she would physically get ill and not want to come to school. What kind of life is that for that child? Out of the day that we have, the administration and the teachers of this school district have our children more than we do. We're trusting them to keep them safe. Under the advice of medical professionals, I removed my daughter from the school to make sure that she was well enough to return and have a functioning normal day. Wanting to continue her education and stay current in her studies, I spoke with the administration and we agreed that she could attend the after school program that was overseen by Mrs. Yaney. Even though the administration knew that bully that had caused so much havoc in our life was in the same after school program, I was never notified that so that I could take what, and say whether or not she should attend that program. Instead, my, my daughter had to endure further bullying by this child. It was only after I called the school that I was told they had to protect his privacy and, his, and ensure his education. What about my daughter? What about her education? What about the work that we had done to reassure her of her safety? Not only did she have more issues that evening, but we ended up spending another eight weeks trying to regain her sense of security. For years, we instilled into our children that you're safe at school, that it'll be okay. Go ahead and talk to the teachers, talk to the administration, they'll help you. But in this case, it didn't happen. It takes one incident to break security. Not only did they break her sense of security, but her faith in the administration and the faculty of the school, as well as mine. 15% of all school absenteeism is directly related to the fears of being bullied at school. According to bullying stats, one out of every 10 student who, students who drop out of school does so because of repeated bullying. Harassment and bullying is linked to 75% of school shootings. Thank God it hasn't happened in this school. As much as we want to think that our school is immune, we're not. We could be the next Columbine. Are you prepared? I'm not. The events of February 4th could have been very different. I wouldn't be standing here as a concerned parent 
of a vibrant seventh grader, but rather as a parent of a victim of bully side, which is suicide in relation to bullying. Had we not stopped my daughter, that's exactly what I would be doing today. I ask you, the school board, not as a governing body, but as parents, grandparents, friends, family members, and most importantly, the human race, to please make the administration accountable for their actions, or even worse, the inactions of the zero tolerance policy that does not exist in this school district. Can you tell me what such policies are in place or enforced? I would ask that this school be required to create a zero tolerance policy, whether it's teachers, students, anyone that's in this school district that is being bullied, to be put in place and enforced for all the students. All children, even the bullies, deserve at least that much from this administration. Thank you. Any questions from the board? Uh, is there an additional item? We move on to items for board action. I would, I would suggest to my peers that based on the impassioned uh, conversation we had with Chelsea, uh, that we asked Mr. Stallman to uh, bring back next week to us uh, a complete report of the incident or incidents uh, that was, were referred to in, in uh, Chelsea's uh, comments to us, and that in executive session, we hear that report to the fullest detail that we can. And be more than happy to attend and let you know. And we will invite you to do so. But just you. Well, and <laughs> I suppose a couple's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but not a group. Yeah. You know, you know, right, why not a group? Yeah, I can't. If well, you can't. Explain, explain to me why a group can't come. Those executives. There's more than one student. If, if you would like to request time, then we can have you come in by yourself as well. Yes, ma'am. Um, the group of students, they are very close, and I think it was since it was the same person, and it was the same bullying and assault, they should be able to discuss about it together. And I think that's kind of... Yeah, I, I think I think there's there's two issues here. One, I think those avenues are available through administration if you want to sit down and have conversations. I think there are there are guidance counselors, there are other folks that I'm sure would would spend time. But the problem with that is, in my situation, the guidance counselor was never informed. She had no idea that anything went on, let alone the teachers that deal with my child every single day. Well, the, I had to tell them. That's a breakdown in communication in my eyes. Those, those are things we'll hope to learn. Okay, at, at, well, we won't hope to learn that, but we'll, we'll learn if those things occur uh, through the report. Uh, the other items are, are not things that would be considered in the type of forum that you're, you're requesting. We'd be looking at the specifics around. Why doesn't the administration to the students make them in the problem? Why is that in the uh, I'm, I'm quite sure that they think they do. Uh, you know, I, and, and uh, uh, that's that's why we won't turn uh, an information finding executive session into some other type of meeting uh, because that's not what our purpose would be. I can I can tell you that all of my peers would be very interested in finding out what went on and protecting everybody's children. That I'm certain of. I know these people well enough to know that uh, there are there are ways to do that and. and uh, like a group meeting is not one of them, and, uh, it, this, at our level. In this executive yeah. meeting, uh, yeah, representation I, as far as an attorney. What what we have asked, or I've just asked Mr. Stallman to do, would be to bring back our board a full report. That report would be discussed in executive session. Since you have filed the complaint, I will invite you to come okay. to come to address that. 
uh, uh, to see if there are things that you disagree with based on that report. Okay. So the one that quotes Gerald tonight, can they also ask for a request to file with you? If, if, if indeed there are, there are folks out there that present information. Yeah, sure. That, that there are, is others, yeah. That, are, that, that, tonight, that so. would be pertinent to that to the report that will come out about those various incidents. There would be no reason that Chelsea would have preference over that, although she did come tonight and speak. Uh, well, she couldn't be here to do that. I, I'm yeah. aware of that as okay. well. And certainly, if that would be that other person's choice. Absolutely. But again, she would be independent of you. Yes. You know, uh, she would come in on her own. Or her own. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yes. Okay. Um, so, talking about the bullying. I know. With the known cases, there is a lot unknown. And a lot need some more than just bullying. There is self-harm, harm to others, that can affect a lot more people than just those. So, I know there's a thing called the bullying box, but the kids here just take it for a joke. I've heard around that any time the kids joke around, they say, I'll put you in the bully box. They just do it for fun. They don't care. They don't understand the impact of it, and I think they need to learn. Like, it's not just words. It's, you know, the saying, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. It's so not true. It can hurt. It can hurt to a point that, holy side, it's, it's the roughest thing, but what a lot of people go through. And I just think it needs to be addressed in the whole school. So, yeah. And, and perhaps that would be an outcome of what we came to the investigation. I, I would say we would look forward to it, but that would be one. Really, but uh, <laughs> uh, we will ask Mr. Stallman, if he agrees, yes. to uh, provide us uh, that report uh, next week at a regular meeting. That's the appropriate meeting to do so, so because if there is any action to, Why to take that. Why wasn't this brought up to this before? Why wasn't this actions or whatever that Mr. Stallman knew about? Why wasn't it brought up to this before the board, before these chairs had to come in? Uh, I'm not sure what you're saying. I've had one meeting with one set of parents in this room in just recent months and felt that the administration, they were willing to work with the administration through any issues that were there at that point in time. There's been nothing else brought and they weren't solved, right? to my attention. They, they weren't solved. Okay. This isn't the time or the place to get into that. 